Hello, this is going to be your third party reading. I'm just going to go over a quick introduction. If you have Instant Go, you can add me there for short video readings. Um, I'm doing video replies to all questions on Instant Go. Um, you can find me there at 13 Signs Tarot. If you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the website in the description below, okay? That's the best, most efficient way to contact me for a reading. It keeps everything straight so that I don't get mixed up or confused, and um, it helps me and you out, okay? Also, um, for candle orders and teas and things like that, um, a lot of you are worrying about Christmas, like, will it get there in time? As long as I get it, like, the 20th, we should be able to make something work as far as getting your gifts and things out, okay? I do have other colors um, I'm going to be stocking um, on the site, and I do have all of the signs that I read for, okay? So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy the reading. Bye. Hello, Libra. This is going to be your third-party reading. I hope you're doing well. For the first spread, we're going to have Libra to the left. The person who's putting you in a third party situation will be in the middle and their other party will be on the right. Okay, so first card out, we have, well, first cards out, we have our Justice card in reverse. So a Libra coming up in reverse. And then we have the King of Wands coming up in reverse. So a fire sign potentially. <clears throat> then we have the World card here. Let's see. So someone's not taking action towards you, Libra. Okay, it could be a fire sign that you guys are dealing with. Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. We got the Six of Wands. You got the Four of Wands. have the uh, king of cups in reverse so some of you are dealing with maybe a water sign that is not moving forward it could be a fire sign or another libra okay um i'm just feeling a very like six of wands hmm. i don't necessarily get that this person doesn't want to be with you libra i just get the uh, impression that someone's not making a move here we have the Nine of Wands as the person who's putting you in a third party situation. So the Nine of Wands tells me that maybe they're holding on to their other relationship and not taking action towards a connection with you. We have the Hierophant. So this could be the married partner here or a Taurus that they're dealing with outside of your connection, Libra. The uh, Strength card or a Lust card. It's also the card of Leo. But again, this insinuates that this person here in the middle is holding back feelings for this person or there's some type of like lack of passion between this this person and your partner queen of pentacles could be someone that they're dealing with out of like marriage duty bills responsibilities could be their wife again or a taurus or a husband whatever five of swords so there's conflict between this person your partner and their other party uh libra okay some of you deal with the cancer because i was about to say cancer eight of pentacles and we have the Three of Cups. So that's kind of the name of the game here. Some of you have a water sign. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces Scorpio that is not leaving a marriage or a long-term relationship. Even though there's a lack of passion here, there's conflict between this person. It could be over money or just them two being stubborn, not wanting to work on the relationship at this point in time. The Three of Cups here also insinuates that this third party will continue, okay? Um, there's a lack of forward movement here. So it's not necessarily that the person that you're dealing with, Libra, doesn't have feelings for you, but they're not making any moves to move forward, okay? Let's see, why is the King of Cups here in reverse? Yeah, some of you have a water sign coming up in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. So some of you are losing faith in a water sign or losing faith in options with the water sign or a water sign could be losing faith in their, their options. They may be thinking that there's not there's not a way to manifest this relationship with you. Um, I do feel like, though, eventually things will come together with this person. But I can tell you, and here's a fire sign. So some of you could be a fire sign uh, or they're dealing with a fire sign. All right, let's see. Why is this... Uh, well, I'm going to see why the justice card in reverse. 
So two of swords, I do feel like some of you have ha you are not hearing from your partner. Okay, that's why you could be coming up in reverse. Okay, um, a lot of you though are deciding to leave a water sign or fire sign or whoever this person is libra you're deciding to walk away from them because of a lack of a lack of action a lack of forward movement okay um they could be taking too long for you it could be a, a too little too late type of situation why is the nine of wands here as libra's partner's energy why is the nine of wands here as libra's partner's energy Three. Two, one. Four swords, yeah, they're just not making any moves. They don't want to be where they are, but they're just chilling. Four swords, they're literally just laying back here, chilling. Nine of Pentacles, taking their slow time. Same thing we've been seeing for Libra for a while. Stuck in a cycle here with someone that there's a lot of conflict with, a lack of passion with. Someone who may only care about financial stability, okay? Give me an advice card for Libras in this situation. Storm warning. So um, some of you may hear from this person um, this month if you're not hearing from them but i again warn against thinking that things are going to move forward because you guys see this person's energy it's like four sword strength card and the nine the knight of disc i don't think that they're happy here i don't feel like this is a situation they want to be in but for some reason they're having a hard time leaving it even if, even if it's because of a contractual situation like marriage that could be it as well show me why this situation is the way it is show me libra's partner's partner appreciation and reverse and uh, so some of them are in a like a soulmate or a um a partnership of some sort where there's a lack of equal give and take or a lack of appreciation um yeah five of swords there could be someone arguing that they're not appreciated in this situation i kind of get they're dealing with someone who like again there's like a um a sense of financial need like they're dealing with this person for uh security purposes is what i'm trying to say security reasons that could be could that could have been what the marriage was based off of altogether there's just a lack of passion here a more um business as usual tone to this relationship there's passion here but there's a lack of forward movement okay this could also be on the libra's part okay and we're going to get into libra next but it could be reversed any way that works if it resonates okay it doesn't always have to be necessarily the signs that are right because it's a general reading. So different people show up and I just name who I'm seeing. Okay. All right. Show me third party situations that involve Libras. Libra, you'll be in the middle for this uh, spread as the person who's dealing with two people and either party will be on the left and right. Okay. Show me what's going on with third party relationships facilitated. The parties are being thrown by Libras in this spread. It's three, two, one. And it couldn't necessarily be, I was thinking too, um, uh, like Libra, you could be the person that they're married to, and that could be the other person. The only reason why I said that that's the person that they're married to is because the hierophant came up over here. You could really have been the spouse in that situation too. So that, it, like I said, it could be reversed either way. All right. So the first card is the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the death card. So some of you may be a Scorpio dealing with a Libra. And then we have the temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius. The Libra's energy is the justice card in the upright. Okay. Okay, so Libra, you're coming up upright in, in your card. So we have, again, this water sign that's coming up in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the another uh, water sign, Queen of Cups. Three of Swords, Two of Swords, 
Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Libra is in the middle here, Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So Libra is possibly dealing with a fire sign here or a water sign of some sort where there's a lack of forward movement, lack of growth. There is emotional ties to this person in some way, maybe familial, maybe you have a family with this person. Um, whatever it is, a friendship, there's some type of emotional, you know, capacity here. But the Libra is trying to go, I feel elsewhere with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I think they're trying to go towards this person here. But there may have been some sort of like betrayal or issue with this person. This could be someone that they're connecting from connecting with from the past that may have hurt them before. So Libra, watch out if you're going back to an ex that there may have been some type of issues with before. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Knight of Swords. It could be with an air sign. Maybe some harsh words were ex exchanged or it could have been the Libra that was, you know, the problem before. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, this person. Yeah, there was maybe some type of deceptive energy or um, maybe this person was married to the Libra here and the Libra is deciding to file for divorce or there's, this person's filing for divorce with the Seven of Pentacles, um, the failure card here. Okay, and they're going towards this person. I don't feel like this will necessarily happen this month. I do feel like this is something that will span out over the next one or two months. Okay, um, I feel like the Libra actually has a very strong connection with this person here. It could be like a sexual connection and also emotional. It's not just sexual, but there's a strong connection here. Okay, but this person, there's like maybe some heartbreak with the Three of Swords. It could have all, it could have been this person was the person who's been here for a while for the Libra and this third party came into the situation and that's why this three swords energy is here okay so i feel like the libra is making a little bit of hasty decision but i kind of feel with the two of swords it's been something that's been like an indecisive thing for a while like the libra's been back and forth on whether or not they want to make this relationship work or not um they've now decided that this is not something that they want to move forward with and they're going towards this person but like i said if it's a divorce or maybe just even something where there's shared assets or even the libra is just taking their sweet time i don't think this is just going to happen in december i think for some of you it may take um a little while for this to manifest okay divorce especially okay of course divorces are not going to happen overnight all right. It could also be that the Libra was dealing with the water sign who was a deceptive because water is coming up in reverse. OK, maybe they both had different parties. Maybe the Libra had someone else and so did the water sign. Or maybe the Libra has found someone else with the Ace of Wands here, Ace of Cups, because of their partner's deception. OK, whatever it is, the Libra is coming up with the Justice card. So I feel like I don't feel so much that the Libra in this situation was all the way in the wrong. This person could have like mistreated the Libra because I'm feeling some type of heartbreak here. And now they're having a new start with this person from the past or moving forward. The devil energy is in reverse. So I feel like the Libra is feeling independent now. They're feeling like they can move forward to something that Ten of Cups makes them satisfied, happy. Okay. So this could have been someone who's been waiting on the Libra for a little while now. Okay, so let's see. Let's get two energy cards. All right. Two. One. So we have blossoming abundance. Yep, with that ace of cups, I think that goes pretty nicely. Okay, magician in the mirror. So manifesting a new beginning here. All right. And then we have caring connection. So I do think that the Libra did love this person here. I don't want to I don't want to say there wasn't love here, especially with this water energy. But I think that it became t either too much for the Libra or there was some type of, like I said, some some heartbreak that made this Libra want to walk away and in a sense, maybe run with the Knight of Wands towards this person. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be that exact way, guys. Remember, these energies could be reversed. It could be the Libra who's not coming up justified. Maybe they were the one who brought this Three of Swords energy to this connection here. But either way, they seem to be headed towards that direction. That's just the bottom line of 
what I'm getting here, okay? I know some of you are not going to be happy if you're this person and you want to hold on to the Libra. I understand, but I'm just here to read the cards. I'm not here to take sides. I'm not here to even know all y'all business. I'm just here to read the general energies, okay? So I hope that this uh, helps you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Please leave a comment and let me know if this resonates with you or if you enjoy the third party readings, okay? Um, I can be reached for personal or any other things by going through my website, okay? It's in the description below and I hope I get to read for you again in the future. Bye Libra.